Are you afraid of the dinosaur? Does your site work when your customers are offline? Have you tried to use AppCache only to walk away in defeat? Fear no more. Service workers offer a rich caching experience for, to help you slay the dinosaur. The majority of web traffic originates on mobile devices. Comscore says mobile devices have an unquestionable role as the consumer's primary digital tool. This means customers are often on flaky connections or offline completely. In the developed world, 4G and LTE cellular connectivity is ubiquitous. This does not mean it's reliable. How often have you been out and about only to check your phone and realize you have no connectivity? Or worse, the phone says it is connected, but you cannot access the internet. Your intent is blocked by the dinosaur. What is the dinosaur? It's the scary T-Rex that appears in Chrome browsers when you lose connectivity. It has become a symbol of frustration and angst. It can even confuse customers, leading them to believe your site is broken. Your app stopped working, your email can't be sent, and you can't load that website you desperately need to access. This is called Li-Fi. That point when your phone says it's connected, but it is really lying to you. What happens when customers try to access your site under Li-Fi? They see the browser loading bar of despair. And who do they blame? You! Service worker caching empowers you to flip the experience from a sad emoticon to a very happy emoticon. One where your customers may never realize they walk through the dinosaur's lair. The web has been able to work offline for many years using AppCache. However, if you tried to use AppCache, you probably pulled your hair out and gave up. The AppCache developer experience is horrible, to say the least. It is confusing and lacks explicit controls needed to manage the offline experience. What about browser cache? This is where you define cache headers that tell the browser how long to retain a local copy of a file once it is downloaded. According to HTTP Archive, only half the web uses browser caching. So chances are you're not using browser cache for your sites. A Facebook study reveals about 25% of the assets they expected to be cached were not cached. Instead, Browsers purge the cache to free up this space. This study tells us you cannot rely on cache headers for offline access. Browser caching and app cache fail to solve the local website caching needs. Browser engineers realized this was a problem and heard cries by many for a good solution. So they created service workers and a proper caching solution. Service worker caching makes managing web at site assets easy for offline and super fast access. Unlike app cache and browser caching, service worker caching gives you full control over every aspect of website caching. You can store HTML, JavaScript, CSS, fonts, images, and any other file your website might need. What is service worker caching and how does it cache websites? Well, in the words of Smashing Magazine, a service worker is a script that stands between your website and the network, giving you, among other things, the ability to intercept network requests and respond to them in different ways. It accomplishes this feat through the Fetch Event Handler. This is where you can write code that evaluates requests, checks it against your cache, and decides if a stored custom or network response should be returned to the browser. The Service Worker Cache API provides a way to organize your website's assets, making them easier to manage and putting you in control over every aspect of your website's files. This specialized cache has the power to change the way the web is perceived by everyone. In fact, Jeremy Keith, the inventor of responsive web design, 
calls service worker caching the biggest effect service workers have. And I quote, the biggest effect that service workers could have is to change the expectations that people have about using the web, especially on mobile devices. Right now, people associate the web on mobile with long waits and horrible spammy overlays. Service workers can help solve that first part. Service worker caching starts by intercepting every file request from the browser before it hits the network. The cache API lets you quickly check if the target file has been stored before making a time-consuming and unreliable network round trip. Instead, you can instantly return the file so the user experiences an instant load. The fastest request a browser can make is the one never sent across the wire. At least that's the conventional wisdom. And that's what service worker caching delivers. Properly cached, websites can start faster than comparable native applications. Wait, did I just say faster than native applications? That's right. Properly cached and architected websites can load faster than native counterparts. Finally, yet another case you may not realize service worker caching solves. And again, I'm going to quote Jeremy Keith. I had been thinking about service workers as a tool to help in situations where the user agent goes offline. But of course, it's an equally useful tool when the server goes offline. That's right. If you need to bring your web server down, your website can still function on devices where Service Worker has done its job caching. Maybe more important, when files are served from the Service Worker cache, they are not served from your server. This means you can save money on bandwidth and processing. In short, this means your server can scale with fewer resources. Because Service Worker caching is flexible, Many caching patterns and options are available. So many, you might be overwhelmed as to how and when to use different techniques. There are 15 core caching patterns related to service worker caching. They range from bypassing the cache altogether through racing the network and the cache against each other. You can also pre-cache files so your site can load instantly, delighting your customer. How do you know when and where to use different caching patterns? Where can you learn service worker caching best practices? You could look up blog posts and videos trying to organize the information. You could also start writing your own service workers and try different caching strategies to see how they work and if they fit your application needs. Or you could register for Love to Dev's Practical Service Worker Caching course. In this course, you will learn details about Service Worker Caching API and 15 different caching patterns. After learning Service Worker Caching concepts, you will be guided through applying these techniques to an example website. Once you have completed the course, you will have the knowledge and experience needed to implement an effective caching strategy so your websites can reliably work without the network. You won't have a reason to fear the dinosaur any longer. Your customers will love your website and never realize it is not a native application. Don't ignore the features offered by the web any longer. Learn why and how to use service worker caching so your websites will delight customers whether they are on a fast, reliable, or broken network and every connection scenario in between. Until the end of April 2017, save $10 on the Service Worker Caching Patterns course. Click the link below or use the code SW-CASH in the Love to Dev Academy checkout.